The aviation world is witnessing a seismic shift, and at the center of it all is China's ambitious C919 jetliner. For decades, the skies have been dominated by two global giants, Boeing and Airbus. They've ruled the market with iron fists, setting the pace for innovation, controlling supply chains, and keeping competitors at bay. But now, there's a new challenger emerging from the East, one that not only threatens the balance of power, but also signals a new era in global aviation. And here's where it gets even more interesting. General Electric, an American titan of industry, has put down a $2.2 billion bet on this Chinese dream, aligning its future with a project that could reshape the world of commercial air travel forever. Welcome to my channel, Truth and Hope. Here you get truth always. Please subscribe my channel for daily updates. When you hear about the C919, it might sound like just another airplane project, but this is far more than that. The C919 is China's bold attempt to break into one of the toughest industries on Earth, where reliability, safety, and efficiency are non-negotiable. Think about it. Every major airline across the globe has relied for decades on the duopoly of Airbus and Boeing. These companies have built vast empires, not just in planes, but in maintenance, software, and part supply. For a newcomer, especially from a country seen as a rising rival to Western powers, to step into this arena takes massive ambition, immense resources, and the kind of long-term vision few nations possess. The C919 is built by COMAC, Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, a state-backed company that has poured billions into research, development, and partnerships. The jet is designed to compete directly with Boeing's 737 and Airbus's A320, the workhorses of global aviation. If COMAC succeeds, this could mark the first real break in a monopoly that has lasted for generations. And here's where GE's gamble comes in. Despite trade tensions, geopolitical rivalries, and all the risks associated with betting on a challenger, GE decided not only to support the project, but to become one of its biggest enablers. Why would GE, a symbol of American industrial might, throw in with China's flagship aviation project? Well, the answer is money, opportunity, and honestly, the future of global demand. The aviation market in China is set to absolutely explode. Over the next 20 years, experts estimate that China alone will need over 8,000 new commercial planes to meet the demands of its rapidly expanding middle class and, you know, its growing appetite for air travel. That's trillions of dollars in potential contracts, maintenance, and partnerships up for grabs. Boeing and Airbus want their piece of that pie, but China doesn't want to remain dependent on foreign suppliers forever. Enter the C919, a symbol of independence and national pride. GE's bet comes in the form of engines. The C919 is powered by the CFM Leap 1C, a next-generation engine built by CFM International, a joint venture between GE and Safran of France. By securing this deal, GE positioned itself right at the heart of the C919 success story. Every time a C919 takes to the skies, GE benefits. And with billions invested, the company has made it clear it doesn't care about politics as much as it cares about being part of the future of aviation. But let's pause for a second and think about what this means. An American company is fueling China's rise in aviation, effectively helping to build the very competitor that could challenge Boeing, another American giant. It's a complex, almost ironic twist of global capitalism. On one side, Washington views China as a strategic rival and competitor. On the other, U.S. corporations see China as an indispensable partner, a market just too big to ignore. GE's $2.2 billion move illustrates this tug of war perfectly. Ah, the C919 itself is, well, quite impressive. You see, it's a narrow-bodied jet capable of carrying roughly 158 to 174 passengers. 
This positions it right in the league of the Airbus A320neo and Boeing 737 MAX. It offers promises of better fuel efficiency, lower emissions, and modern avionics. The first deliveries have already kicked off, with China Eastern Airlines stepping up as the launch customer. Each successful flight marks another stride forward for Comac, a clear signal that this is far from just a paper project. It's a real player making its mark in the market. Now, skeptics, they argue that the C919 isn't truly independent just yet. Many of its key components, like engines and avionics, are still sourced from Western companies such as GE, Honeywell, and a few others. Critics claim that as long as China relies on foreign tech, it can't genuinely compete with the likes of Boeing or Airbus. But here's the thing. Every nation's aviation industry, it all began with partnerships. Even Boeing didn't always rule the skies. It had its share of decades filled with collaboration, experimentation, and learning curves. China is aware of this, and they're playing the long game. With each C919 constructed, more domestic suppliers gain experience, more engineers acquire knowledge, and more capability is cultivated in-house. Eventually, the goal is unmistakable, to craft a fully Chinese jet powered by Chinese engines, equipped with Chinese software and systems. That's precisely why GE's involvement is, well, a bit of a double-edged sword. In the short term, it rakes in billions and solidifies its presence in the Chinese market. But looking ahead, it might just be training the very competitor that could, one day, push American companies out of one of the world's most lucrative markets. It's a high-stakes game, and GE is, without a doubt, all in. From China's perspective, the C919 is more than just a plane. It's a statement. For decades, the country was dismissed as a low-cost manufacturing hub, great at producing electronics, toys, and clothes, but not trusted in high-tech, high-safety industries like aviation. The C919 smashes that perception. Every successful flight is a display of national progress, proof that China can master not just consumer gadgets, but one of the most complex machines humanity has ever built. This is why the rollout of the C919 has been celebrated like a national event inside China. The first commercial flights were covered heavily by state media painting the plane as a triumph of Chinese engineering and resilience. And to be fair, in a world where just designing a safe and reliable passenger jet can take decades and bankrupt entire companies, the C919's journey is indeed remarkable. But will it succeed outside China? That's the real test. Boeing and Airbus aren't going to give up their dominance easily. Their jets are proven, certified across multiple countries, and backed by decades of safety records. For the C919 to break through, it will need international certification, trust from airlines outside of China, and a supply chain that can deliver at scale. That's a tall order, but not impossible. Remember, Japan once faced skepticism in car manufacturing. South Korea faced doubt in electronics. Today, Toyota and Samsung are household names worldwide. China is betting aviation will be its next global breakthrough. As we look at GE's $2.2 billion bet, one thing becomes clear. Global business doesn't operate on the same logic as geopolitics. While governments draw lines and talk about competition, businesses chase opportunity. GE knows that if it doesn't supply China, someone else will. By being in the game, it secures influence, profits, and partnerships. And for GE, that outweighs the risks. The aviation industry is about to become more competitive than ever. For passengers, this could be great news. More choices, potentially lower ticket prices, and new innovations driven by competition. For Boeing and Airbus, it means rethinking strategies, doubling down on efficiency, and maybe even considering partnerships they once dismissed. And for China, every successful flight of the C919 is another step closer to breaking a monopoly that has defined aviation for half a century. 
So the next time you see a C919 soaring through the skies, remember this isn't just another plane. It's the result of billions of dollars, years of ambition, and a battle for the future of global travel. It's a story of competition, cooperation, and contradiction, all rolled into one. GE's $2.2 billion bet shows that even in a divided world, money and opportunity still have the power to bridge divides. And maybe, just maybe, the C919 will mark the beginning of a new chapter in aviation history. One where the skies are no longer ruled by just two players, but opened up to new challenges bold enough to dream and powerful enough to deliver. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this story engaging, make sure to subscribe to Truth and Hope 